Okay, so when the biomechanists are shown this video of Johnny Miller hitting a shot, right? Or an animation. Uh, they all say uh, that's not rotation. So hip rotation, right? That's not hip rotation or pelvic rotation. It's not. Okay, so we look at we look at what's going on. Uh, I guess you could say in three dimensionals. Even if even if we're seeing in two D, we're looking at this in a three dimensional manner. Uh, as long as there's left movement back away from target and there's right movement toward the target that's two translational movements that will cause rotation I mean in anyone's in anyone else's mind that's what it is there's rotation because we see the right right leg coming forward the left hip pulling back so that in our book is rotation but in their book it's not so they said, oh, it's just hip extension and left leg extension, right? That's all they're seeing is hip extension and leg extension. So anyway, I got my beginner golfer here. So she's got the same two movements. There's a little bit of a hip extension there, and there's a left leg extension. She actually gets a little off the ground with the heels. But what's different? So if you're gonna if you're gonna look at swings in this way and just say okay that's all that is well then what's different she's not rotating she's totally that's not even a stall that's a total stop there's there's only vertical action on her hips at this point so what's really different and what are what are we looking at versus what are they looking at so so let's try to figure out from their point of view what they're looking at so number one we we kind of understand that um they would rather put that sensor on the lower back on the on the okay let's try to look at so they want to put the sensor on the back and then we're going to look at where that sensor would be moving so let's just say we're just going to start with the halfway down and the downswing Okay, so his his sensor would be right about there at this point. Now, we know that it's moving towards the ball. Okay, the tailbone or where that sensor would be is moving toward the ball. So, in their book, what would that be called? Right, it's a movement toward the ball or maybe with the the position of the hips at that point it it might be called a hip sway it's moving you know towards the ball um, it's also moving up right so we know that part they even see that right at this point oops okay so we know it's moving up so they're saying okay it's extending up whatever we also know that this look, this surely looks like posterior pelvic tilt or as one of the scientists said it's late in quotations late as if late is not the appropriate time for uh, posterior pelvic tilt okay so so there's all of that going on right so there's a movement vertically there's a movement right slightly toward the target and then there's a movement towards the ball okay so that's what that's what they would rather call it but these bunch of translational movements right in terms of what we see right and th this is rotation right how can it be anything but rotation again when you see a bad golfer sorry a beginner golfer right who does not have some of the movements now there's also extension of the spine wait now let me find Miller here again Okay, so there's also an extension of the spine going through. There's huge 
rotation on the uh, thorax right compared to my beginner right who just shanked it so there's all the there's all the elements so now what you're gonna teach a sway because she needs more sway she needs some thorax rotation but oh no you should be ro you should be decelerating all of that I think she's doing a great job at the deceleration of the right she's got the start the hips rotate the or the pelvis rotates and then the, the thorax rotates and then she just stops so I think that's a perfect you know kinetic proximal to distal sequencing if you ask me but why does it look so different than Johnny Miller I mean what, what's really going on here or is actually the model too simple is, is this biomechanical model way too simple that it does not explain what's really going on therefore we make incorrect assessments and then we start having maybe tour pros start looking like this and just stop the motion I mean you know the faster you decelerate you know if you you can decelerate it just gonna right it's it's gonna accelerate the the next distal segment right if, if you want to call it that that's wonderful I, I would call that uh, overly simplistic science.